Good evening, everyone. This is Vegas, and tonight I'm going to talk to you guys about a great new car stock, and I'm going to do a few comparisons, but I'm going to tell you why this is one of my favorite one. But before we get started, I just want to say that I'll be doing a lot more videos. I know it's been a while. I missed you guys. I'll be getting back into it. So let's get started. Um, if you go to our website here, ilovestocks.com, you can click on the Twitter button and uh, you'll go to our Twitter feed and you can see here that we have a lot of social media postings. We also, uh, Jim does um, live YouTube classes if you're welcome to join him. We also have a lot of trading ideas that we do, that we do post. I try to post these honestly guys in real time. So if you have a chance to follow us on social media, you'll be able to see that, you know, we have small direct calls. We're an SNDL. We got them on the dips. We also got April calls as well. We have Peloton. We have Etsy. We have Zedkin for breakout. Uh, we also have Kern, which is another marijuana stock. We have Long on that one. We have the Wynn Hotel. So we do have a lot of ideas that we do share in real time, aside from the ones that we also share in our chat room. So uh, feel free to follow us at I Love Stocks one If you don't remember, just go to the website, I Love Stocks. Just click on the little bird and it'll take you right there. So now we're going to get started with uh, the company that I want to talk to you guys about. But first, I want to talk to you about a couple of the competitors. So we have a company here right now called Vroom. And uh, you could see here that uh, this company called Vroom is obviously in the resale business. They are obviously in the e-com platform and they have a way to sell obviously used vehicles. Um, you can see here, let me just take a look here at the stock. Uh, you can take a look here and see that the stock is $50. And I wanted to tell you that at one time, the stock was in this $70 range. Look at this, 52-week high, $75.49. So this stock's taken quite the pullback and 52-week low at $32. So, you know, if you're trying to get into the used car stocks out there, you know what, this to me is kind of a little bit out of reach. I mean, you'd have to get quite a few shares to really make money. So not interested in Vroom, even though uh, fundamentals are really good. Um, that's great if you have uh, really deep pockets and you want to go into this one. But I have a really, like another one that's much better. So the other one that we can compare to is one called Car Lots. This is also uh, kind of groundbreaking. You can see more about them as well. They buy uh, cars you can sell your car if you want or consign your car. You can get financing as well. And you can also read more about the company. They have a team overview as well. And, and the same thing, you know, they're trying to help sellers get what their car's worth without the hassle of selling it themselves. And then they have like online chatting that you can do. You can read more about the executive team down here. There's Michael Bohr, Michael Chapman, um, and you can, you know, you can read more about them. But this is not the company I want to talk to you guys about. So I want to talk to you guys actually about this company here called Shift. So let's take a look at Shift. And this is all about the smart way to buy a used car and safely as well. So you can see here that Shift um, has obviously a site. You can click on Shop Cars. And when you click on shop cars, it brings you to a menu here. You can actually pre-select the model that you want. So let's just say that I'm interested in a BMW because I'm actually a BMW mechanic and I actually know BMWs really well. Um, I've owned them for many, many years. So I know what they, how they behave. And you can then scroll through and you can see all the different BMWs available. And you can actually then click on the vehicle and you will get to see, obviously, the uh, details. So they have these all on augmented reality. So you see there's anything like they have a little exclamation mark telling you there's some little chips on the hood, which is normal. Um, and then the, the, some pictures here of the engine. So you can click on it. You can go through the vehicle. Oh, my God, I love the interior of this color, the interior of this car. I love it. Um, so you can see the car all the pictures online they show you the interior like like they do on all these used car websites but i'm going to tell you the story behind this company and this is what appeals to me 
and why maybe this could be a stock that you might consider yourself personally to invest. So one of the things about uh, Shift is um, I'm going to go through with you, first of all, the management team. Okay, because this is really important. You know, I know when I talk about stocks, I like to tell you the story behind the stock. So their mission to make the car purchase and ownership very simple. They want to build a platform that makes the buying and selling fun, fair, accessible to everyone. So I like their mission statement, very simple. So you can see here that the team is comprised of three co-founders. Okay, so these guys all know each other and they used to all work together. So let's start with George. So George used to uh, be the founder of Taxi Magic. Now it's known as Curb. He also used to work at Google. Okay. And he also has a BA in political science from the Middlebury College. And he was one of the co-founders and CEO um, also of Taxi uh, Magic. And now he is the co-founder and co-CEO of Shift. Then we have Toby who's also the co-CEO of Shift. He was previously the VP of Digital at Capital One, and he is also one of the, he co-founded Taxi Magic, so you can see some history where they used to work together. And they were the first on-demand mobile transportation booking technology. He also has led a $12 billion renewable energy investment program for the U.S. Department of Energy. And he always was a project leader at the Boston consulting firm and has a doctorate from Oxford University. Then we got to go to Christian and Christian also is a co-founder of shift and he's helped build the company's infrastructure oversees all the software. Uh, he also uh, did the API at Dropbox and before that he developed software for Google app engine. And so you know what? This guy knows his stuff. He's involved in robotics. He's got his master's in computer science. He knows what he's doing. Then we have Karan. Love Karan's background. I mean, don't forget, he was at the engineering team of Real Real. Now, if you guys know the Real Real, I mean, they sell all the designer stuff like Louis Vuitton and Gucci, and they resell all the um, high end goods. And basically, if you're sick of your Louis Vuitton bag, and you want to get rid of it, you can sell it to the real real they authenticate the bag. And then they put it online, and then someone else will buy your bag for you. So he worked at the real real. And obviously, that was before the company went IPO. And then previous to that, he worked on Mars, and on the project for NASA and at Sony PlayStation. So let me tell you, he also has done his own startup through Angel iPad or AngelPad. And uh, obviously it became an acquisition. And you know, he started coding at the age of 13 and he went on to get his Master of Science in Artificial Intelligence Robotics. So this team is incredible. I'm not gonna go through everyone else's bio. I wanted to go through the most important ones here. Not to say, sorry, that these guys are not important. They are, but you can certainly read that yourself. Okay, so now let's go back to the cars. So the reason I wanna to talk to you guys about this is that all these other companies that I mentioned earlier, like Vroom, you know, VRM, and uh, Carlots, okay, this, these companies are very different in a sense that they are all over the place. They are across the nation where actually uh, this company, Shift Technologies, actually started off in California. And what happened is that um, the market for the California market got very hot because this company, Vroom, uh, sorry, Shift Technologies, uh, unlike Vroom and Carvana and Lots, I mean, they obviously all have the, um, the Elon on online platform, but this company, Shift, it's a California story and they've actually expanded into Seattle and they actually just had a fulfillment center just in California and they would sell cars to consumers in, you know, they call the Golden State. And what's happened is now they've turned, become a dominant player in the online market. What makes them very different though, is that they sell used cars that are between the ages of three all the way to the age nine. And they also sell cars under $20,000 as well. So they have kind of a bit of a huge market split and they are very attracting, very attractive actually to so many different people that are in the market 
uh, for certain cars on certain price points. And so, you know, what they did was that this company shift was focusing on what is the most wide reach to reach customers, you know, so if you're looking for a car, you know, what is the average consumer looking to spend? And so they found out from all their research that let's build a platform to attract the most number of clients so that we can have the biggest amount of growth and make the most money. And they actually focused basically on two things on their platform. And this is what makes them different. They focus on, like I said, cars that are between the age of three and 10, and then cars that are worth less than 20,000. Now, yes, they do have cars here that are a little more, but that's because the age of the car is also not that much. So you're going to pay a little more for those cars, but they do have a market for cars under $20,000. So let's just see here uh, if I can do a search by price. Okay, so if I only want to go to, whoops, let's just go by price like to go to something not expensive. Uh, let's just see here. Oh, I guess it won't give me the, I guess monthly payment. I don't want to go that that expensive. Hold on. Okay, so you can sort out here what uh, the prices of what you want to spend on the car. And then you'll get here the list of all the different cars. Um, I even was surprised I saw a lot of Tesla vehicles here. I was uh, looking for a Tesla as well, and I was really surprised that they had quite a few. Let's take a look at these Teslas, because everyone loves Tesla's technology. Uh, not bad. I mean, look at these cars. You know, they got the Tesla S, the Model 3, loving the Tesla X model. And um, they have quite a few of those. I think if I was to get a Tesla, I got to be honest, I think I would get the Tesla X. Loving the Tesla X model looks amazing. And I just love how those doors just open up like a spaceship. I mean, what a car. What a car. I mean, I love this about the car. But you have to love cars or else you're not going to have appreciation for the car. So going back to uh, this company, SFT Shift. So the thing is, like I said, they have two markets, the, the old car and then the cheaper cars. And um, although those two market segments may not be so attractive to you, they are extremely big markets and they are cars that are between, um, you know, attract the most number of clients. And I got to say that their inventory is dedicated to cars actually four years and up and that 80% of their inventory also has cars that are in the sub $20,000 range. And, uh, you know, I have to say that companies like Carvana, uh, they have cars like that um, as well, but they, a lot of their cars are priced a lot higher. So the advantage really with SFT is that California is not the only market where people can buy cheaper and older cars. I mean, all the other states have the same characteristics, but the strategic advantage over Carvana and Vroom is that they will extend on a national scale. So I think that is going to be the difference. I think that uh, we're going to see shift uh, expand its reach beyond California. We know they've already gone into Seattle last year. And if they can become as popular as um, how it has been in California, let me tell you that this stock is definitely not going to stick around at this price. I think the fun is just beginning. I think the growth on this stock is just starting. And um, you can see here on shift before we go and wrap up this video. Uh, you can see here that the historical data on the stock, I mean, it's there, okay? I mean, this is basically $10, $0.15 stock. It has not really budged that much. I mean, you could see at one point it was, you know, 640 You know, at one time it went around 1275 1307 Oh, yeah, I could see here 1420 So it had a little, you know, some pops in the past. But remember, the company's gone on some extensive growth. And, you know, the company's been around, as you just so you know, um, since 2013. And um, you're welcome to check them out. And uh, look how many full-time employees there are. So it's quite a big company. 
They've got a lot of people working there. And uh, they are definitely a big competitor and they're definitely going to uh, change the way people are buying cars and they're definitely going to be a dominant player uh, in the market. So you're welcome to read more about Shift, check it out, see if you like it, watch the stock, track the stock. Um, I'm going to tell you right now that um, this is a great stock for a long-term investment in my opinion. If you don't like day trading and you like to have uh, stocks where you can just hold on for quite a few years or quite, you know, even six months worth or more, I think you'll be quite pleased with where this company is going to go. So do your own due diligence. I'm not recommending that you buy the stock. Uh, check with your own financial advisor. I'm not licensed. I'm just giving you my own personal opinion about the stock and where I think it's going to go in the future. So on that note, have a great night. Talk to you guys again, and thank you for subscribing and watching.